Good afternoon, Southwest Florida. This Naples Herald lunch break is sponsored by Conditioned Air, the comfort people since 1962. I'm Janelle Simmons. Today we have an FGCU student going to the White House, a successful business, and more. Today's Thursday, March 10th, and this is the lunch break. A Florida Gulf Coast University senior and Hall of Fame award winner will have an opportunity of a lifetime working alongside our nation's president. This summer, Kathleen Leon will be making a trip to the White House as an intern. While she isn't the first student at Florida Gulf Coast University to ever do so, she is the only graduating student of this year's class to make the cut. Congrats to her for receiving this amazing opportunity. A Naples man is behind bars after being accused of providing dental care out of his house and without a license. The report says Juan Marco Flores Orgaz provided unlicensed dental treatment to the woman who had to seek more treatment from a local hospital after suffering complications from Orgaz's procedure. According to reports, the man was operating an unlicensed dental business out of his home. Naples PD is asking for any of the man's victims to contact the Criminal Investigations Division. CEO of Arthrax accepted proclamations from the county congratulating Arthrax for their 25 years of business in Collier County, as well as the Business of the Month Award presented by the Greater Naples Chamber of Commerce. Considered the largest sports medicine company in the world, Arthrax has been one of the top 100 fastest growing companies in the United States for the past decade, and just last week was named on the 2015 Fortune 100 Best Companies to Work For list. For more information about the company, check out Naples Herald. That was the lunch break for today. I'm Janelle Simmons. The lunch break airs Monday through Friday at 12 p.m. right here at NaplesHerald.com. And don't forget to check out our morning report that also airs Monday through Friday at 8 a.m. Thank you for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.